what men we can, then find a fast ship to flee it. Aye, there's a brigand this week. I'll make my way to it. Sailing with me. I'd follow you to hell for this, mate. Come on, lads. If we're to drown today, it won't be here. There's a brig nearby just waiting for us to take her. Watch on those galleons. See, they don't give us trouble. They won't. Far too strong for this weather. Incoming fire! Cannon ready! Fire! Ah. Look, the won't play shot there! Mark any orders. Be wise, mate. We're up against it here. These men know their place. They'll see us home. I see. 
see it. My god, we pulled this one straight from the teeth of Neptune. I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Aduali. Ever been to Nassau, Aduali? Not yet. My god, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her. All hands aft, lads! Taking this one home. I've made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, it shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. I spied a few items in the hold earlier. Powder and a few pistols. I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> it's a good start. One you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of lint stocks heaped like tinder. And one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannon, they might as well be tossed. Clogs, touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. So worry about your own armament when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaw as well. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition. She's lovely on the foreyard, she's lovely down below, boys. <laughs>
Ahoy, Captain. Find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Yeah. Taken from the holds, just as you said. A little more than a blowpipe. But it'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You find no civilization in Nassau. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. <laughs>